Hello, I'm Dr. Trina Wiggins from Las Vegas, Nevada. People of color are dying at an alarming rate. We can ill afford to let our guard down because the government is easing restrictions. If we let our guards down, we will continue to die at an even greater rate. So it is absolutely mandatory that we protect ourselves because we don't know our enemy. So who is the enemy? There are people who look great and who have absolutely no symptoms of COVID, but in fact have the COVID virus. These people are unknowingly spreading the virus. It has been estimated that 25 to 50% of COVID cases are coming from those people who look great with no symptoms. So let's talk COVID survival tips. Tip number one, the face, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. They all need a barrier. For the eyes, do not wear your contacts now because there is too much contact of the hands to the face and the eyes. Instead, we wanna wear glasses because it provides a barrier. Now, if you don't wear glasses, you can buy non-prescription glasses or sunglasses online. Now, for the nose and the mouth, there are four options. The first is your disposable mask. The second is a washable cloth mask. The third option is a bandana that you can wrap around. And the fourth option is any household fabric that you have. You can even use a sock and basically cut a hole on either end and wrap it around and the holes actually go around the ears. You can also go to the cdc.gov and it shows you how to make a simple home face mask. Now on to tip number two. Now we're going to talk about the hands, okay? With the hands, you want to wash, wash, wash your hands often with hot water and soap for 20 seconds. So don't estimate 20 seconds. What does 20 seconds look like? You want to count to 40 at a pace such as this. One, two, three, four, five. And if you count to 40 with that pace, that's about 20 seconds. Next, we're gonna talk about glove use. It's important, but you wanna be aware there are not, and let me repeat myself, there are not a substitute for washing your hands. So, you also wanna understand how to put gloves on and how to take them off properly without contaminating yourself. So, you pick up a glove as such, put on one glove, pick up the second, and put on the other glove. Now, after you've touched things, you don't wanna contaminate yourself. So the best way to take them off is take the edge here, pull it off, then take this and pull it off, grab it, and dispose of it, okay? So that's how you put gloves on and take them off. Next, we're gonna to go to tip number three. Now we're gonna talk about the spread of the virus and social distancing. They tell us to keep a distance of six feet. So what does six feet look like? So here's a tape measure. From here, all the way to the end of this countertop is six feet. An MIT study showed that a sneeze can travel up to 27 feet. So what is 27 feet? Well, the length or the entire length of this countertop is seven feet. So if you quadruple that, that's about 27 feet. It makes you wonder. Also, a sneeze can last in the air for three hours or 10,800 seconds, or like driving 180 miles. That's a long time. So let me put this in perspective for you. So you get up and you wanna to get to the grocery store early before 
the mad rush gets there. The grocery store opens at 8 o'clock. You get there at 8.05. But what you didn't know is that John just left. And John sneezed in the area that you walked into. But you didn't know. So that's why it's extremely important that we have these barriers when we go outside, as I talked about earlier. The glasses and some type of mask to cover the nose and cover the mouth. Now on to tip number four. Okay, now we'll talk about the immune system. As you know, there is no cure for the coronavirus. So we must get immune up. First of all, we need to know what weakens our immune system. There are four things. One, inadequate sleep, stress, poor diet, and lack of exercise. So let's talk about good sleep habits. You want to have a cool, dark room with no TV or no phone. And make sure you do not drink caffeine prior to going to bed. And make sure you have the same bedtime each and every night. What about stress? The best way to deal with stress is with daily prayer and or meditation. How about your diet? You wanna make sure your diet is predominantly plant-based with a colorful variety of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. For example, why don't you start your morning with a delicious vegetable and fruit smoothie? You can have collard greens, spinach, kale, add a banana and some pineapple, and you can dilute it with either water or milk. And my personal favorite is vanilla unsweetened almond milk. You also need to have vitamin C. Vitamin C is important to support the immune system. You can either use it as a, as a supplement or you can get it from your foods. Foods that are high in vitamin C are oranges, strawberries, bell peppers, and broccoli. All great at supporting the immune system. Another great supplement is zinc. It boosts your immune system. Last but not least is vitamin D. Vitamin D is a great source of support for the immune system. And people of color have a tendency to be vitamin D deficient. Next, number four, exercise. My exercise prescription for you is seven to 10 minutes of physical activity three times a day. So what does that look like? You can briskly walk around your couch, around your house, or the neighborhood. You can go up and down your stairs 10 minutes, three times a day. Or you can do the seven minute app. All are great and work just fine. Now, if you ever get sick or feel like something is coming on with a scratchy throat or runny nose, be quick to jump on it. Try to take some an over-the-counter antihistamine such as Benadryl, do warm salt water gargles, and if you have a fever, take some Tylenol. Lastly, if you feel these symptoms coming on, make sure you get rid of your toothbrush. Get a new one. You do not want to reinfect yourself with the old toothbrush. Once you get a new one, you can sterilize it by adding a half cup of water, two tablespoons of vinegar, and one teaspoon of baking soda to the water solution. Put your toothbrush in and let it sit for 30 minutes. And that's it. So now you've heard the COVID survival tips. Stay safe, stay well, and God bless.